Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Essex Allotment. Thank you if you've watched the vlogs so far. We're up to vlog number 11 and things are progressing quite quickly. Now, having said that, this week hasn't been super productive because we have just had rain after rain after rain. Uh, you'll have seen from the clips that I've just showed you that the sort of flood uh, overspill trenches for the water runoff are full. The soil's really sodden, but what's really great is that the blocks have handled the weather really, really well. So let's jump straight into this week's vlog, find out what it is I have managed to get done, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so first job for this week or this morning is, uh, you'll have seen in the first clips, I was carrying bags of stuff over from the car. Well, that was actually leaves to make leaf mulch. So I've lined the inside of the crate. Um, and if you've been watching from vlog one or two, you'll know in this composting area, I've got a crate that I got for free from somewhere ready to make leaf mulch. I found some off cuts of uh, Enviromesh from when I've been making my Enviromesh tunnels. So I've lined the bottom of that so it doesn't all fall through the crate and I'm gonna tip these leaves and cover them to start making leaf mulch. So let's go and have a look at this. Right, so that's those bags tipped into the leaf mulching crate. Uh, I'm gonna cover those with a bit of just um, a weed membrane or some uh, plastic tarpaulin that I've got lying about and let them start to break down. Now, one of the tricks that I've used to just accelerate this is to actually break them down further. You can either use a shredder or what I sometimes do because I haven't got a shredder that you can use for leaves, only one for a big wood, bits of wood, um, is to run the lawnmower over them. So when it comes to me wanting to use them, uh, what I might do is get them out of that crate, put them on the floor, run the lawnmower over them, collect them in the lawnmower bit at the back, um, and then it makes a finer mulch for you to lay on top. What I'm hoping to use those for is if you watched last week's vlog, you'll have seen that we planted 1,500 onion sets in the first two beds, A1 and A2. Um, on the farm and um, what I want is to allow those onion sets to come up and start to shoot and then when I do just to give them a little bit of extra protection and nutrients over the winter I'm going to bed them in with some leaf mulch so I'll let that start doing its thing under the cover um, but still sort of in the element start to break down I'll finally chop them down using the lawnmower and spread them on but of course I'll show you that when I come to doing it now it's not all been good news this week. I've had some problems uh, in my lettuce bed. So you remember, first of all, we planted out, you know, 350, 380 plus lettuce plugs. And we planted them out before 30 degree heat and a lack of moisture and I lost a few of them. Um, and then, so we went back uh, last week and filled in the gaps with some plug plants that we had spare. Now I came back this week and we'd got the same problem. It had gone really patchy and you can see from the bed behind me uh, where we've got ones missing, like down here, we've got some lettuce plugs have gone missing. And every so often I keep finding a whole he uh, lettuce head or like cut off um, in the pathway. So on some research, I think I've got something that's called cutworm. So let's go and have a closer look. So you can see that you know, those two rows are perfect and they're looking really healthy and great. They love the moisture and the weather. And I kind of put it down to, again, the weather. I started thinking like, you know, baby plug plants, uh, the wind might have got them. And then I started to see little munch holes on some of the leaves, but more importantly, stuff like this. And I haven't done this. This is one, another one that I've just spotted. So I'm just gonna focus right at the stem. You can see something has munched it off. You can't because it's not focusing but you can see that something's munched it off right at the stem and that is cutworm. So in this bed with all my lettuce and probably in the whole of block A, I've got a cutworm problem. So now I get, need to get researching for organic solutions to cutworm. So if you've got any and you've got any ideas, I've stuck it on my Instagram already, 
but if you've got any drop them in the comments below and that'll be much appreciated i'm back in the shed um these are a few of the like i say lettuce baby lettuce plants that i've picked up just to show you in a bit more detail you can see that it's been munched right at the base of the stem it's a telltale sign of cutworm again another one here pretty annoying that they're not even eating the, the leaves they're just cutting them off and you know munching the odd one or two and then going and doing the same with something else which is very annoying but yeah you can see that i'm really starting to lose some of these lettuce heads which is really really annoying but not quite as annoying as you may think now the reason i've said that it's probably not as annoying as you may think is because this is exactly why on the farm i'm growing over winter so i've got nowhere to sell this lettuce to um it will not be these plants even the healthiest of plants won't last until i start selling at the beginning of summer next year but what I've done and why I'm doing this and why I'm growing over winter is for exactly this reason. Now, I couldn't have afforded to realise that I'd got a cutworm problem on the farm when um, I'm growing the crops that I'll actually sell. So I've learned this now in October, um, almost six months before I start selling anything. So I can try and find an organic solution, deal with the problem. And then when it comes to growing the lettuce that I'll actually be selling to my customers, um, I won't have to deal with cutworm, fingers crossed, or I'll have a better idea of how to deal with it and as and when it returns. So I am gutted um, to find out but we're, uh, that I've got cutworm on the farm, but we were always gonna come across some stumbling blocks. This was never, ever, ever gonna be plain sailing. And it justifies me going to the effort to planting and growing stuff on the farm over winter. So. Yes, it's a massive negative, but it's also got a tiny little bit of a positive in there that my planning and organisation when it comes to the farm is working. Now, the good news is I've still, in my potting shed, got some replacements. Right, really exciting part of the, this week's vlog is that when I did my morning walk round, which is where I discovered the cutworm uh, in the lettuce bed, I also discovered that loads of radish are ready to harvest. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a picking of my radish and I'll take you along for the journey. Why not, eh? seems kind of apt that the sun's come out for this part of the video but as you've seen I've got radishes ready it's not actually harvest day so we'll leave the rest of them to it but I've got a bunch for Karen who's my lovely volunteer that's here for to take away a try and for me to take home and try the first thing that we've ever harvested from the farm which is absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to try it
Okay, so I'm back in the shed for the final bit of the video this week, and I've just pulled a few beetroot up because the radish got me excited, and to be honest, it's a little bit early. They're very, very top heavy. Uh, they've not bobbed up enough yet, but I'll show you them anyway. Uh, you live and learn. Just got a little bit excited, um, but there's plenty still in the ground. So here they are. Okay, so it was a short, sharp video this week because, like I said, the weather had put a stop to most things we'd got done. Um, as always, thanks again so much for to my volunteers, for anyone that's watching, and um, yeah, have a great week, and we'll catch up again in a week's time, and hopefully I'll have got more of the job list done. So if you like this video, hit the like button and think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.